Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. This video is in response to some of the comments and suggestions I received in the original version of this video. Um, I had a few folks suggest that I slow down a little bit and that I zoom in so that um, they can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So I refilmed it, um, got a little bit closer and explained everything a little bit slower. It is a longer video, um, but it is more detailed than the original one. So I hope it helps. So this is an example of one of the beanies that I made using this same um, stitching, which is the Celtic Weave. So I'm just going to be showing you what it is we're going to be working on with this beanie so that we can all kind of stay on the same page. It was one of the suggestions somebody made and I liked it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So let me know what you think. So for the materials, um, I'm going to be making one in multiple colors like the, this gray one. Um, so I used wool-like yarn and you can find this at any Michaels and I got two skeins. So it's two skeins of the green and then I'm going to be using two different shades of beige. It's a size one fingering yarn, um, so if you can't find this yarn, just get two skeins of any fingering yarn you can find there that you like. But I'm going to be using three colors, so I'm going to use a total of six skeins. So the color for the beanie I'm going to be making is in green, and this is actually I think it's the olive color that they have in this yarn. But we're going to be using two skeins simultaneously, so grab one thread of each skein. And we're just going to hold them together and crochet them as if it was one thread. So let me zoom in a little bit. And for this um, stitch, we're going to be using a G hook, and that is a 4.25 millimeter hook. So let's get started. We're going to work with a slip knot first. So to make a slip knot, you just hold your yarn, and we're going to wrap it around two of our fingers, and just hold on to the end there. Insert your hook into that loop, grab your threads, and make sure you grab both of the, the yarn, or threads of yarn, and then remove your fingers and pull on the ends. So to tighten it, you just pull the two ends apart like that, and it'll tighten your slip knot. We're going to be using a lot of loose tension here, so be sure to not tighten everything too much. We're going to start with a chain, so just pinch this bottom knot, and to make a chain, you wrap your yarn around your hook, and you pull it through your loop. So I'll show you one more time and we'll talk about chain length here in a minute. So we wrap it around our hook and pull it through the loop. And one more time, yarn over and pull through. The length of your, chain, of your chain, there we go, has to be in multiples of two because we are, every one of our Celtic stitches is in, we're going to be working two posts at a time. It has to be the length of the circumference of the hat that you want. So if it's for an adult beanie, typically I make about 22 inches worth of a chain, and it's going to be in even numbers, so just count, uh, make sure that you add in an even number. If you want different measurements, I will post those in the description below. So that way you can make a chain for a hat in any size you want. So like I said, for this one, it's for me, well it's for my husband, but it's for an adult, and I make those typically in 22 inches. This stitch does shrink so I will go uh, I'm gonna make about 23 and a half to 24 inches um, that way the beanie will still fit you don't have to make it too too much bigger so just maybe about an inch at least uh, longer than what you would typically use so we're gonna be using these stitches so this is our chain and every one of those V's counts as a stitch so to begin our first row I'm just going to pinch this last stitch so that I don't lose it, and we're going to chain two more. So we've got one and two, and we're going to crochet into the third stitch from our hook. So it's the one that we pinched, and we're going to start this first row with double crochets. So you're going to yarn, or you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook. So I'll show you again. Wrap it around your hook and go into the third stitch from your chain, or from your hook, excuse me. And then we're going to yarn over and pull it through the loop. And see we're going to be left with three loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops. So 
I'm going to show you again. We'll yarn over, go into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. One last time. Now you're going to wrap our yarn around our hook, go into the next stitch, pull the thread through, and we're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So we're going to keep working double crochets into every stitch of our chain until we get to the very last stitch of the chain and finish the row. So I've finished my rows of double crochets. So I've made a double crochet in every stitch. And we're going to start this part of our uh, beanie, which is the Celtic weave. And as you can see, it is worked in multiples of two because there's two posts per, um, I guess, stitch if you want to call it that. But we're just going to be working in twos or in pairs. So let me get all settled up again. There we go. And we're going to begin the next row, which is the first one of our two rows. This is a two row repeat. So this is the first row of our repeat. And we are going to work in the posts. So it's these not looking things here. I'll show you. So we're going to be working. This is a stitch. We're not working in those. We're working in the posts. And it's these bottom ones. So when you pull the post forward, it's a front post crochet. And see, here's another post. And when you pull the post backward, like so, it is a back post crochet. We're going to be working all of our next rows in triple crochets. And they're going to be either front post or back post, depending on the row. So for this row, we're going to chain three. And we're going to turn our work around. Be sure to make all of these stitches with as loose a tension as possible. Because if you have really tight tension, you're going to start curling up your work. So for our first stitch, we're going to yarn over twice. And we're going to go into the post. So we're going to come in, or we're going to insert our hook behind the post and we're going to push it forward. And that's the very first post of the row. So it's going to be um, the first stitch of the pair that we're going to make. So we've got four loops on our hook, and we're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, and we're going to yarn over again, pull through two loops, and then we're going to yarn over a third time and pull through two loops, and that is a triple crochet. So it's going to be really easy to flip your work around. So a trick, here I'll yarn over twice, so yarn over twice is see that it's it's flipped you can't always tell with your chain make sure that your knot and that little tail end of your yarn is at the bottom and that's how you're going to know that your first row which is the one that'll twist is uh, you're holding it correctly see my yarns here at the bottom so we're going to continue yarn over twice and we're going to go into the next post and we're going to make it a front post so we're going to push the post forward get some yarn pull that through we have our four loops and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through our last two loops of our stitch. So those are our first two um, triple crochets and they're front post triple crochets. Skip the next two posts and in post three and four, so you can we've got the two skipped, so it's one, two, and on post three, going behind the post so push it forward yarn over pull through and we have our four loops again so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two you're going to want to make another front post triple crochet in the stitch right next to it so the one to the left because remember we're working in pairs so we've got our four loops on our hook so yarn over pull through two two and through two. Now we have to create the Celtic weave so we're going to have to go back to our skipped posts. So you see them right there? We're going to start with the very first one, so the one that's closest to our hook. So it's right here and we're going to make it a front post. So come in from behind the post and push it forward. So see we've pushed the post forward. Now we're going to grab yarn and pull through and we're going to close out our triple crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do the same thing to the second post because we need to pull those forward to create the Celtic 
uh, weave look. So there's my post. We're gonna yarn over or yarn over our hook twice. Insert the hook behind the post and push it forward. Yarn over and pull it through our stitch. And now we just finish off our triple crochet. So the rest of the row is going to go very much in the same manner. So we've got these two stitches that we crocheted and we're going to skip the next two posts. So right over here and we're going to go into the two posts after that. So we're skipping these and going into the third post and we're just going to make another front post triple crochet. So make this one and then we're going to complete the pair. So we're going to the next one and we'll make a front post triple crochet. And now we'll have to go back to our two skipped posts. So yarn over twice and there are our posts, the two that we skipped, go into the first one and push the post forward, yarn over and we're just going to close out our triple crochet. And we're going to do the same thing for the second post so that we can finish the pair. So, and if you leave um, loose tension while you are crocheting these stitches, it's really easy to move all of your stitching around so that you can find all the posts because they're going to hide on you. So you're just going to want to keep a loose tension. So this is what your work's going to start looking like. It looks like a mess, but we're going to clean it up here in the next row and it'll be very easy to follow um, to follow along after that. So just bear with me here. Keep, uh, keep working this way until you complete the row. So you're always going to skip two posts, work into the two posts after that, and then come back to the posts that you skipped. So keep working this way until you finish your row. If you need to see this again, just go back a couple of minutes and then watch how I started this row over again and we'll move on to the next row. So I'll skip these, work into these, and then go back into these skipped ones. So keep doing that and I'll see you again soon. So I have finished my row and I've got the this last post that I did and between the last post and this little chain right here, we have to make a double crochet. So yarn over insert your hook into this space, yarn over and you're going to pull your yarn back out. There you go. We have three loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And that is a double crochet, which we did in the first row. And that completes our row. Don't skip this one, uh, this last stitch in every row because it will start to shrink your hat. So now we chain two and we're going to turn our work around it. So this is the second row of our two row repeat. And I know it looks like a mess, but it gets easier to see if you use your fingers to separate your stitching. So go into the cluster of the little stitches we have and you'll see these front posts and these back posts. Remember that we have to work in pairs and we're going to be skipping in pairs as well. So we're going to start with the ones closest to our hook. So we're going to yarn over twice. And this row is a back post triple crochet. So for the back post, now let me separate this so it's easier to see. You're going to go in towards the front of your post and you're going to push it backward. See how our post is towards the back now? Now we're going to yarn over, pull our hook out. We've got our four loops. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now you have to always complete the pair. So yarn over twice and find the second post. So here it is. We're going to come in from the front, push the post behind, and we're going to finish our triple crochet. So I'll work a couple of these. So if you miss this one, don't worry. Now we're going to skip these back posts and go straight into the next little group of posts. See, it looks like a big old mess. Don't worry about this bottom part after this chain. We're just working on the top part. So use your fingers again to separate your posts and that way makes them easier to see. See, those are the front ones that, the, that we're going to be working on. So I'm just going to separate them here, yarn over twice, and another back post. So come in towards the front of the post, push it back, and close out your triple crochet. So there's one, yarn over again twice, go into the next post, 
push it backward. So here, let me make it a little easier to see. So there it is, see, and I just push the hook towards my finger and that way I'll come out the other side and push the post backward. So that's our back post, triple crochet. Great, so now we finished two of these pairs and we can go back to the ones that we skipped. So this back row is the one that we're gonna skip the entire row and we're gonna come back to it. So now I have to push these forward and these get a little bit more difficult to see. But if you just pinch the first post that you're gonna go into, yarn over twice and then just pull your, drag your hook on your finger all the way to the bottom. So see, we're gonna come out through here. This chain, you're gonna have to go under it. So drag your hook, you're gonna come out towards the front of the post, push the post backward, like so. Yarn over, come back out, and you'll have your four posts, and you'll just finish your triple crochet. We're gonna do the same for the second post, which is right here. So I'm just going to pinch it so that it's easy for me to find it. Yarn over twice and make a back post triple crochet. I'll show you a few more of these too. So, so there's our first Celtic stitch. So now we're gonna skip these back posts again, go back into our next little cluster. Here we go, use our fingers to separate our stitches. Now we've got our two front posts. See, it's these little guys right over here. Those are the ones we're gonna be crocheting in first. So we yarn over twice, insert our hook in the front of the post. Make sure you do the post and not the stitch. Push the post backward and now finish your triple crochet. We'll do that again for the second post. So we'll push the post forward and finish off our triple crochet. Now we go back to our two skipped posts. So there they are. Yarn over and we're going to push the post forward. And we're just gonna close out our triple crochet. Remember to pinch the post you're gonna work on if, you haven't, if you're not experienced with uh, Celtic crochet or Celtic weave, just because it's easier for you to find it. So that way you can just drag your hook along your finger and you, you know what post you're gonna be working on. So there we go. And I'll do one more to show you. So we skip these back posts and we go to the next pair of front posts. So if it helps you to pinch the post, it'll also help if you pinch these front ones too. So yarn over twice, come in in front of the hook, or in front of the post, excuse me, push it back and finish your triple crochet. We'll do the same with this next one. So there's my post. There we go, and we'll finish our triple crochet. So you're gonna keep working this way um, throughout this entire row. So go back to our skipped ones, and then you're skipping two posts, going to the two after that, coming back to your skipped posts, and so forth and so on, until you get to the end of the row. And I will see you there. So I'm at the end of the row, and I've left four posts, so I can show you how to finish this row. So it's the pair of skipped posts, and then these beginning posts as well as my end chain. So we're gonna wrap our yarn around our hook twice. We have to skip those back posts and we're gonna go to the last two posts of the row. And we're just going to finish our triple crochet. So I'll wrap my yarn around twice again and we'll finish our triple crochet with the next post. And now we go back to those two skip posts right here and we do the same, yarn over twice Come in from behind or in front of the post, push it back, and finish our triple crochet. We'll do the same for the second post of the pair. Push the post backward and close our triple crochet. And you can't forget this last double crochet in this chain space. So next to our last post and the chain, we insert our hook and finish a double crochet. And that is the second row of our two row repeat. So as you can see, it starts to, the Celtic weave starts to show. Now for our next row, 
we're going to chain two and we're going to repeat that first row we made only now it's a lot easier to see so you can see how all of our stitching is starting to crisscross now we're going to be working on these um, this row is going to be all of our front post so if you can see the design it's always a front post row if you can't tell what the design is it's going to be a back post row so yarn over twice and we're going to start with these first two posts right next to our hook so these are front post triple crochets so it's like the very first row excuse me that we did in the uh, Celtic weave so I'll finish my two posts and now we're going to work these skipped posts so they're hidden right behind these posts so we're gonna skip these guys see it's these but we've extended them so we're skipping those guys and going straight into the next pair of posts so I'll do these a little bit slower so yarn over twice come in behind the post and push it forward so we grab some yarn pull through and we finish our triple crochet so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two go into the next post and do the same yarn over twice come in behind the hook the post excuse me push it forward and finish your triple crochet so now that we've got these two there's a gap between our stitching which tells you we have to go back to our skipped posts which are these little guys hidden back here so there they are so go into the very first post and again if it helps pinch the post you're going to be working on so you can easily find it so you're coming in from behind and pushing the post forward remember we're making front post triple crochets in every post of this row so you're always going to come in behind the post and push it forward so even if these stitches are back here and hidden you still have to pull them up and forward so that they create the Celtic weave so we'll do the same for our second post and there we go see how it crosses over and this little edge starts to curve really nicely so if you're making a blanket or anything in this stitch you'll have a very nice edge every time so we're gonna skip to these guys see and if you cross over you can see where you need to the next stitch that you have to go to so it runs parallel to these bottom ones so you know you have to skip the parallel ones which are these guys that are hidden back here and go straight to the other posts on this side so yarn over twice come in behind the hook the post push it forward and finish your triple crochet and make another front post triple crochet in the stitch next to that or in the post I should say next to that and then we have to come back to our skipped posts you can see you can see these have a gap right over here so now we have to go to these guys hidden back here so we can close out this stitch so I'll pinch this little post that I'm working in I'll yarn over twice come in behind the post push it forward and finish my triple crochet and then I'll do the same for the second post so I'll pinch that one there we go and come in behind it push the post forward and finish my triple crochet so I'm gonna here show you there you go so you can see the Celtic weave is starting to show and that's the look we want so I'm just going to keep crocheting in the same fashion so I'm going to skip these bottom ones go to the ones after that there we go Let's see we're gonna go straight to these right here there we go and we're just gonna keep stitching along um, so I'll keep working on this I'll leave the camera rolling for just a moment so that anyone who needs to see this again you can just kind of watch through and see um, how I'm working a part of this row but I'll stop talking now I'll let you watch for a moment and then I will meet up with you again here when I finish the row
All right, so I'm at the end of the row and I've got four posts left. So I've got these little guys and these guys at the end. So remember if I hold it over, it'll tell me where the po what posts I need to go to next, which is these last two. So I will make my front post triple crochets in these last guys. So there's one and here's my second one. Awesome. And now we can go to our two skipped posts, which are these guys hidden back here. Those are really easy to forget. So just pay attention when you get to the end of the row so that you don't forget these because it'll throw off your uh, count and then your hat will be just a little more narrow. So I'll finish the second one. And as always, we have to finish with our double crochet. So find your little chain space and finish with a double crochet. And that'll keep our edges nice and neat and even. So as you can see, our Celtic weave is now looking gorgeous. I'll make a chain of two. So we chain two and we're gonna start working the other way. So this is our the first row of our repeat. So it's our front post and now we're gonna be working the back. So it's gonna be our back post. So that is the second post repeat or the second row repeat, sorry, of this pattern. So I'll work this last one with you guys and show you how to do this row one more time. So we'll yarn over twice, go into the post right next to our hook. So go to the very first one and push the post backward. This is, see we're in the back of our work so we have to push our posts backward. So I'll just pull my yarn through, go through two, yarn over two, yarn over two, and yarn over two and finish my triple crochet. I'll make some space over here so I can see my second post in the pair. So I'll push that one back as well. And I will finish my triple crochet. Remember to skip the next pair of posts, these back guys right here. We're gonna go crochet into the front posts right over on this side. So in this next little cluster, so yarn over twice, push the post forward and finish your triple crochet. So I've sped this up a little bit because by now you should be a little more comfortable working uh, with the posts. So we've got this back post. There we go. And now we'll go back to these skipped posts right over here. So yarn over twice, drag the hook all the way down the finger, all the way to the tip here where I have pinched the post. And now we push the post back and finish our triple crochet. We'll do the same for the second post of the pair. So I'll push the post up backward and finish this row or finish this post, excuse me. So I'm just going to keep working this way uh, until I get to the end of the row. So I'm going to skip my next two posts. So these back guys always get skipped and you work in the front posts first. So just remember to skip the two posts, go to the next two, and then come back to your skip posts, and uh, I will see you at the end of the row. So in order to keep this video from being too, too long, which I know it's already pretty lengthy, I'll just tell you what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna keep repeating these two rows. If you need to watch them again, just go back to the video where I uh, show you how to make the first and second row. And we're going to make several um, rows of this. I'm going to be switching colors to this beige. I've got two colors that I'm going to switch to. And I'll show you how to switch those. So it's going to look kind of like this, only a little more narrow. Uh, because I want it to look just a little bit different. So I'll show you how to switch colors. Because I've already made several rows of this. I made, what, uh, 12 rows. So I'm going to be switching to my first color. And this is the same way you're going to switch yarn every time. So I'm just going to show you this once and then um, I'm going to switch colors several times. So I'm going to get my first color that I'm going to switch to and I'm going to need to cut the ends of this green one. So I'll cut the ends of the main color, leave a nice long tail because we're going to have to weave it in later to help keep it from unraveling and grab your next color. So I'm going to grab two threads. So I need two skeins of this caramel color yarn. So or I guess the beige I guess I think it's what it's called the other one's called ivory um, but I'm gonna grab the two threads and keeping my green yarn on the hook 
I'm just going to leave a nice long tail like so. And I'm going to pull both threads through the loop, the green loop. So there we go. Tighten the green loop. And I'm keeping all of the ends of my yarn together. So it's going to be four threads of yarn. And I'm just going to yarn over and make a chain. So I'll pull it through the loop on my hook. And then I'll take here I'll tighten it a bit and then remove just the short end and we're going to keep the yarn that we're going to be working with. So yarn over and make one more chain. So that's the chain two that we need at the beginning of every row. So we've got our chain two and we can turn our work around and we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. So I'm in the back side of my work so I'm going to work back posts. So it's all my back post triple crochet row. So er, let's separate our um, posts and yarn over twice go into that first post push it backward yarn over pull through the hook and if I can actually get the yarn there we go so now we have our four loops on the hook so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through the last two now we do the same for the second post of the pair so we're going to yarn over twice and then I'll grab my post. There we go. Yarn over twice. Come in front of the uh, of the post, push it backward, yarn over. And then we're going to pull back out of the loop. We have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. So that is our first pair of posts. We're going to skip these guys back here. Go into the next little bunch of posts over here. I'm going to separate those out. There we go. And yarn over twice. Go into the first post and push it backward. Go ahead and grab our yarn through and yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. So we're finishing off the pair. So yarn over twice, go into the second post and push it backward. So I'll push it towards the back, yarn over and pull through like so, and then just finish off our triple crochet. Just keep working the rest of this row. So I'll go back to my two skip posts and then skip two, work the two skip posts and so forth, like we did in uh, just the second row, po what is it, the second row repeat. So I'll do two rows of this in case you want to make the exact same style beanie that I'm doing. So it's two rows in this color, one row in the ivory color, and then I'm going to do two more rows in this caramel color, and then I'm going to continue again in the green until I have about 10 inches or so worth of crocheting. So here we go. I've been working on this for a while. So as you can see, I've got several rows now made. And let's measure this out. So it's, okay, well, I made nine. I thought I was going to make about 10 inches, but I think nine will be just fine. And it's going to be a bit of a slouchier beanie, so it's going to be nice and tall. So I'm just going to switch colors again. And this is for the brim, because I want my brim to be this ivory color. So I'm going to leave a nice long tail and I'm just going to do the same thing, pass it through the same thing I did last time I switched color. So pass it through the loop on our hook and then I'm going to hold all four threads of the yarn and let me zoom in a little more. So I'm going to hold all four threads, yarn over and make my first of two chains and then I'll move the tail, pull the yarn I'm going to be working with, and yarn over and pull the through the chain. So now we have a chain of two, and then I can just tighten it with the green or the ivory yarn, however I need to. So we'll cut the green yarn, which is the one we're not working with anymore, and that way we don't tangle all of our yarn. So I'll get this all nice and tightened, and we're going to start with our brim. So for our brim, we're going to work in between the posts, and it's all double crochets. So we're done with triple crochets, and we're going to work in between every single post, not in the stitch, into the post. So yarn over once, insert your hook between the first and the second post, and yarn over and pull your hook back out of the loop. So you'll have, or out of the stitch, sorry, you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two for a double crochet. So we're going to go in between the next two posts. So yarn over and go through the two posts. Come back out and you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we have this big space. It looks big and you're going to want to do two double crochets. At least I usually do. Uh, don't. Just make the one double crochet because otherwise you'll make too wide a brim and it'll make your hat look really weird. So just make one double crochet into that uh, large space. And now here in this cluster, don't skip any of the spaces between the posts. So you need a double crochet between every single post. So separate your posts and make a double crochet in between the first pair. And then right over here, it's going to be kind of tight, but separate these posts and make a double crochet in between those. And then in between this other space right over here and another double crochet and just keep making a double crochet between every single post of this row because it is the foundation row for our brim and then after that we're just going to repeat the same row over and over so we'll finish this one and I'll show you what it's going to look like so this is the finished beanie this is what the brim looks like and it's all double crochets and it's front and back post double crochets it is really stretchy and it's really easy and quick to do and I, I just like working this brim just because it's so fast. So to make our first row, and this is the row that we're gonna keep repeating. So now that we have all of our double crochets, we're gonna work front and back post, or alternating front and back post double crochets. So to start, you chain two, and you're gonna turn your work around. So we're gonna go into this very first post right here. So yarn over once, and we're gonna come in behind the post and push it forward so it's going to be a forward or a front post double crochet so yarn over and we've got our three loops and we're just going to finish our double crochet now our next one we're going to yarn over and see here's our post so yarn over we're going to come in from behind the post towards the front so that we can push the post backward so that it'll be a back post double crochet. So yarn over, we're gonna pull through, and now we've got our three loops, so we yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we go back to a front post, because remember we're alternating between front post and back post double crochets. So we push the post forward to make a front post double crochet, and we just close out our uh, stitch. So we'll go into the next post right over here, yarn over, and make it a back post double crochet. So we'll grab some yarn, pull through, and close out our stitch, and just keep alternating front and back post double crochets until you get to the end of the row, and I will meet you there. Alright, so I'm at the very end of the row, and I made my last post, and it was a back post double crochet. And now we have this little chain space right next to the post. Don't forget your last double crochet. So it's just like the one we did when we were doing our Celtic stitch, only now it's in the row of double crochets. But we're going to need this for every single one of the rows we're going to be working until we complete our work. So we chain two, turn our work around, and this is the row we're just going to repeat throughout the, the entire rest of the brim. So as you can see, all of these posts are front post double crochets. They're sticking up. You can feel them, and back here, where my middle finger is, you can feel all of our back posts. So they are really easy to see, and we're just going to extend them. So we're going to yarn over, and for our front post double crochet, we're going to make another front post double crochet. So we're going to come in through this space right here, push the post forward, yarn over, pull through, and we're going to finish our double crochet. The post right next to it, as you can see, is a back post double crochet. And see, we're going to go through this top part right up here. Only we're coming in from the back because it's a back post double crochet. So we'll push our post back, grab some yarn and pull through, and we're going to close out the double crochet. And don't leave any of the threads. There we go. The next one is a front post, as you can see right here. 
So yarn over, push the post forward, there we go, yarn over and pull right through again and just finish your double crochet and I'll show you one more over here and this is another back post. So yarn over, come in from behind the post towards the front, push your post back, yarn over and we're going to yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So I'm just going to keep repeating this until I get to the end of the row. Don't forget that last double crochet in between the, uh, between the last post and your chain space. That was very important so that your brim doesn't get too narrow. Make your brim as wide as you want. Uh, typically I make about a two inch brim, so I'll keep, I'll keep making several rows of this. Um, I start with maybe about five and then I'll measure it and see if that's right. Sometimes I'll make up to about seven. So it just depends how wide you want your brim to be. So just keep repeating this row over and over until you get the length that you want for your brim and I will meet you there. So here, this is a little chain space I'm talking about. Um, don't forget to make your double crochet in here. Anyway, I'll see you uh, when I'm done making the brim. So I've made my brim and it's pretty lengthy. I haven't measured it yet. So I'm just going to grab my measuring tape. Yeah, it's about two inches and the total for my hat is 11 ish. Yep, yeah, 11 inches. So it's going to be a bit of a slouchy ish hat. It's going to be a bit on the taller side and I'm just going to finish this up. So I've removed my hook and I'm just going to cut a nice long yarn tail and I'll pull through this top part over here. And you're just going to need a needle. So get a tapestry needle, a yarn needle, anything, because we have to weave in all of these ends. So we have ends all over the place and these ones in the front as well. So I'll show you how to do it on uh, with these two threads and then I'll let you finish the or weaving in the rest of your ends. If you didn't switch colors, you won't have this problem, uh, but I switch colors a lot. So I'm going to have to weave in a lot of ends. So I'll show you how to do it this one time and then um, go through, finish all the rest of them. And then we can go ahead and stitch our um, hat closed. So I'm just going to come in through any of these stitches and make a quick knot. There we go. And I will insert my hook here towards the, like heading towards the top part of the beanie. And as you have probably seen before, I like to weave in my ends in a bit of a square pattern. And that's to help me from keep, uh, it helps keep your yarn from becoming unraveled. So I've got one side and here's the other side of my square. And we'll go in yet a different direction. There we go. And I will finish off my square. If you have a really long, um, if you leave, left a really long tail on the yarn, um, you can do this a couple of times. You can just go over the square several times. If not, just kind of tuck in it or tuck in the rest of the yarn that's left and cut any extra ends you've got left. So I'm just going to go through, weave in all of my ends, and I will um, see you when I'm done with that. So here is my work. It is now done. I have weaved in all of my ends except for this topmost one because I got lazy. So I'm going to use it later anyway. You don't have to weave it. You can just weave it in. It makes it easier. So now I folded um, my work in. I'm going to use one thread this time and I'm going to use the main color, which is green. So I'm going to get a nice long thread and I'm going to sew my beanie closed. So line up your edges and we're going to fold our beanie inside out so that our Celtic weave is on the inside of our folded um, beanie. That way all of our stitching is going to be nicely hidden inside the beanie. So I'm just going to sew over here and I don't start right at the end. I leave uh, enough space for, I don't know, about one or two stitches. That way when I make my knot here at the end, which I'll show you here in a second, um, I'll be able to hide it a little more easily than if I were to start right at the very end. So I'll make a double knot over here and I will have a little bit of a tail end left here of yarn. So it's just going to be one thread which once I'm done making the beanie, I'll go through and just weave that in. So there we go, we've got a knot. So now I'll go back and I'll make one or two stitches to close up the top part of the beanie. 
um, remember that this is the part that's right by your head because it's the brim. So you might want to double up on the last stitch or at the very end just to make sure that it's going to stay completely closed because if that one gets unraveled then the rest of your beanie might open up. So I've got my stitches, now I'll turn my work around and pick any stitch that you want, however you want to sew this closed. Just stick with one and just sew all the way to the end. Don't sew the top of your beanie closed just yet. I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a moment. So I'm just going to keep stitching here and I will see you when I get to the end of uh, the stitching. So this is what we're going to make the top of our beanie look like. So when we close it up, um, if you want to add a pom-pom, you can add one at the end of it. Uh, this is what the inside looks like. But I'm not going to add one. I'm just going to sew uh, the top part closed. So when you get to this top part, I left these extra threads. I should have weaved them in, but I didn't. But I'm going to make a knot. And that is because I'm using this same thread to close the top of my beanie. If you need a new thread, that's fine. Go ahead and get a new one. But make a knot at the top just because when you pull the top part closed, it's going, it could ruin the rest of your beanie. Uh, I've done that before and it's it's not very fun because then one side of my beanie which turns out to be the back is usually all crumpled up so there we go I've made a knot and now we're just going to sew in and out at the topmost part of the beanie so the top part up here is the initial chain that we made and it's nice and thick so it makes a really great spot for you to sew uh, the top part of your beanie so just weave in and out and that way when you pull on your thread, it's going to start closing the beanie shut. So I'll keep stitching here and I'll see you when I work my way around the top part of the beanie. So I've made it all the way around and I'm just going to pull on the thread. If I pull too tight, I'm afraid it's going to uh, break the yarn. It's happened before and then I have to sew it all over again. So I'll make it as tight as I dare to. And we're just going to make a couple of stitches at the top so that we make sure that our beanie is going to stay closed. So I'm just going to insert my hook and go, or insert my hook, my needle. Apparently I've been crocheting too long. So insert the needle at the top and just go all the way across. And then I'll just go to the stitch right next to it and go all the way across. And as you can see, I leave the thread on top and that just helps me pull the beanie closed. And it's a lot easier for me to see where I have stitched. Um, so I'm just going to work my way around just, um, uh, I'll do this a couple of times, so I'll work my way around this one time and then I'll go around two, uh, maybe even three times just to make sure that my beanie is fully closed. So I've gone around a couple of times and I'm ready to make a knot here at the top. So I'll just insert my needle and leave a little bit of a loop and just double knot of this top part right here. If you're going to be adding a pom-pom and -pom, um, like if I were to be adding one at least right now, I would use the same thread because it's nice and long. I would just insert my needle uh, through the top part and sew on my pom-pom. But um, that's it. Uh, all we have left is just to cut our thread and we're done. So I finished making my knots. I'll cut the end right here, flip my beanie right side out, and that's it. Uh, I hope this slower version was a lot easier for folks to understand, but if you still have any other questions or any comments or suggestions, please don't be afraid to leave them down in the comment section below. Um, I read through all your comments and I try to respond to everybody. So if you have any questions or anything, just leave them down below. I'll get to you. Um, give a video a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more crochet videos and free patterns every Thursday. You can follow me on Instagram. I am at mode.bespoke. Uh, thanks for watching.